Hi, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I did my first tutorial. I'm sorry it took so long, but um, things happen. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a different way to cover a skull cap from the first one, which was the easiest way. Now on um, this way, we are going to start with this skull cap and we have cut little strips I call binding. Now this can be bias tape or it can be any stretch fabric. This is spandex so it does have stretch. And then what you will want to do is cut it approximately one inch wide. This is slightly uh, more than an inch. Uh, I have a yardstick that's exactly this wide that I use as my measurement. You're going to take the edge of the cap you're going to lay it on the edge of the cap and you're going to put half of it to the inside and half of it to the outside and then you're going to pin and you're going to go all the way around and you're going to pull it because you want that to be nice and snug and you're going to want it to kind of pull that towards the inside to make it a little easier then once you've done that you can sew it by hand or you can sew it by machine, which I have sewn it by machine. You can see the stitching right here. So half's on the inside, and I do it right on the very edge so it's clean. And you can also see, hopefully, if I hold it just right, you can see that it's on the outside to, um, there you go, it's on the outside. Now I stitched this in tan so that you could hopefully see it better, but you would do it in white or whatever your color is you're using. Now the binding, you do it in the color of what your cap is going to be, or you can also do it in flesh if you want it to blend in with a skin tone. Now after you've done this, you want to make the cap that you would stretch over the form and here's the cap and you would stretch it now I surged this in black so that you could see that I surged it and I had it set on sew and surge both at the same time now of course you would do this in white so that it wouldn't show or whatever your color is then you want to pull that really good and tight and then I pin it in a few places and then I trim it down so that I only have about a half an inch seam allowance all the way around. Then you roll it under once it's cut. You roll it where your seam allowance goes to the inside there so you have a gap. And then you'll pin. I like to pin about every three quarters of an inch to an inch. And you go all the way around until you get it all good and tight and smooth and you want to pull it tight and one thing I like to do is have your seam allowance go in one direction you can make it go down or you can make it go up but make sure you do the same on both sides so that they look similar then you hand sew this edge all the way around and you want to pull this outer fabric to where it winds up to the very edge or even rolls to the inside of the edge a little bit so that it doesn't show when you're wearing it and then you can just add your trims add your chin strap anything like that that you want to add to it and then you're done so I hope this has helped you and I will do another one, another tutorial, but hopefully it won't take as long. Thank you. Bye.